please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. It is Monday, October 1st. I'm Carter Kent. And I'm Abigail Greenwald. Coming up, we have homecoming queen Addie Atkins in the studio to talk to us. Also, we will announce the weekly and monthly Wings of Praise winners. We'll be right back with all this and your school news. In class news, the fifth and final hair drive is less than two weeks away. Pick up a permission form in Mrs. Welliver's room 610 or at the main office. Seniors, if you are interested in Lock Haven University, Open House and Instant Decision Day is scheduled for Monday, October 8th. This event allows high school seniors to learn more about their major, tour campus, enjoy free lunch in the dining hall, and receive an on-the-spot admission decision. Your official or unofficial transcripts and test scores are required. Registration is open at www.lockhaven.edu. In club news, prospective Avidum club members, turn in your yellow half sheet and club dues to Mrs. Opresca in room 806 by Monday, October 8th, or you will be unable to participate in the next club meeting. Please see Mrs. Opresca, Mr. Harris, or Mrs. Battistelli with any questions. All current and former German students interested in joining German club this year, Thursday will be the last day to accept dues, turn in your money into Frau Marini in room 318. Students interested in participating in Model United Nations. The first meeting is this Wednesday. Stop by Dr. Zaria's room, 108, to pay your $5 dues to become a member of this club that discusses global political issues. MUN meets week four. The Falcon Foundation provides students and faculty grants of up to $1,000 to participate in extracurricular activities outside of school. The fall deadline for Falcon Foundation awards and grants is October 15th. The application is online under the Community tab on the district website. The following colleges are visiting over the next week. Today, PA College of Technology, IUP. Tomorrow, Messiah College. For a Wednesday, Slippery Rock University. And Friday is University of Delaware and Florida Southern College. Students interested in nursing can attend Experience Nursing Day at Wilkes University on Friday, November 9th. This is an Act 80 day, so students will not be missing school. For more information, please check out the flyers posted on the Opportunities Board beneath the skylight in the 100 hallway. Register early, it fills up quickly. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery will be offered on November 2nd in the LGI to current 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Sign up in the Counseling Office. Congratulations to the Week 5 Wings of Praise winners sponsored by Sheets of Lebanon. Sheets donated the gift cards for our winners. This week's winners are Chase Tiffany, Elijah Apple, Anna Leiter, Alex Miller, and Carly Fieser. And there is a monthly Wings of Ways printer as well. August and September's Wings of Praise is sponsored by the Lebanon Federal Credit Union and the Allen Theater. This month's winner is Isaiah Culler. Congratulations. The winners should see Mr. Schaefer in the main office during homeroom. The homecoming court was presented on Friday night and the 2018 Queen was crowned. Second runner-up was Molly Buker. The first runner-up is Hannah Shirey. First runner-up was Hannah Shirey. And your 2018 Cedar Crest homecoming queen is Addison Atkins. Addie Atkins was crowned the 2018 homecoming queen. She is in the studio to talk about it. Thanks, guys. Well, congratulations, Addie. So, what exactly was going through your mind when you were crowned homecoming queen? That, oh no, I have to walk to the 50 all by myself and I don't have my dad to lean on. <laughs> and how did that make you feel? Um, it felt great. I mean, I could hear everybody cheering, but at the same time, I was zoning out because I didn't want to fall. <laughs> well, this year's court was full of terrific people and so what role did you think the homecoming court, and specifically the homecoming queen, play to represent the school? I just think that everyone on the court, and just in general, that you should stay the same person. Um, 
I don't know, keep being kind to people. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for coming in, and congratulations for being homecoming queen. Thank and you. Congratulations to all the people that were on the homecoming court, and now we send it back over to Abby and Carter. In sports news, the cross-country teams ran through knee-deep streams and enjoyed a great day at the Carlisle Meet of Champions. The JV boys showed tremendous depth to place third out of 59 teams. Daniel Stebbins led the way with a 19th place medal, and Ryan Wolf, Gabe Tobias, Alex Naziri, and Ryan Horst rounded out the top five. The varsity boys finished 8th out of 33 teams in the elite race and were led by Luke Heingardner, who ran the 28th fastest time in school history. William Sheffield, DJ La Liberty, Ben McElroy, and Ryan Ticantano rounded out the top five. On the girls' side, Gwyneth Young placed 6th in the elite race and cut 26 seconds off her number two time in school history. Special congrats to Brenda Chernich for her district qualifying time. Way to go! On Friday, girls tennis snuck by Cacalico four games to three. Claire Andrews and Olivia Hitz won their singles matches, and the doubles team of Mary Moyer and Addison Atkins and Hitz and Andrews won their doubles matches. The field hockey team fell to Warwick 3-0. to zero. Keeper Katie Knapp made four saves. The football team was shut out in the second half as Warwick won 58-17. to 17. Brody Dunlop caught 10 passes for 108 yards, and quarterback Logan Horn threw touchdown passes to Chris Rios and Cole Miller. Jack Beasley boosted a 29-yard field goal. If you are interested in joining the high school swim team, there will be an informational meeting tomorrow in the LGI at 7.30. This is for all swimmers currently on the team and anyone else who may consider joining. And now we send it over to Kyle with your weekly weather outlook. Kyle, is it going to start to feel like fall? We are going to start to feel more of a fall-like temperature. However, summer is still not going to let go of its grasps and we're going to see some more summer like conditions for this week but we might see a cool down hopefully for Falcoween but time will tell but for today we're going to have partly cloudy skies throughout most of the day with a high of 79 and a low of 62 for Tuesday we're going to see scattered thunderstorms in the morning becoming more often in the afternoon with a high of 78 and a low of 64 Wednesday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies with a high of 77 and a low of 61. And we're going to wrap up on Thursday with partly cloudy skies with some afternoon scattered thunderstorms with a high of 82 and a low of 61. That's all for your weekly weather outlook. Back to Carter and Abigail. Thanks, Kyle. And that's all for the morning announcements today. I'm Carter Kent. And I'm Abigail Greenwald. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest. On the dark side of the and if you happen to get there before me, leave a message in the dust just for me. If I don't see it, I'll be waiting for you.